so sorry, please forgive me, that I have not been on YouTube for a while. I've just been so busy and um, I've had a little nephew being born and oh, he's so adorable. Anyway, um, just a lot going on. So, <clears throat> but I will make it up to you, I promise. Today I am going to talk about something all of us want to know is what does my hair really need? And this is so important. So anyway, I have a lot of information that I want to give you guys and help you guys figure out what your hair really needs. And because I recently have found out what my hair really needs. Now, I want to tell you right now, this is not blow dried. Um, I did not have any, um, I don't have any silicones in this hair. I don't have any uh, leave-in silk stuff, nothing. This is just shampoo and conditioner and um, a little leave-in treatment that I make myself and I'll, that's something completely all natural. So if you guys want to know how I do that, please comment below and ask and I will definitely try to hit you up with that. Um, but anyway, th I haven't done anything to this. This is not curled, it's nothing. This is just all natural. And I just wanted to show you because if you look at my past videos, you can kind of see where there's a lot of hair damage or dryness or anything like that. So anyway, um, you'll see though here that that's, it's not that way in this case. I don't have any hairspray on it, nothing. So. There you go. I'm going to be reading off some of this stuff, so if you see me looking away, that's what I'm doing because it's just a lot of information. Okay. Get out your pen and pencils. ha <laughs> ha. Let's get started on this quiz. I'm going to list five questions, and I want you to either write down, take a pencil or a pen, and you know, write down what numbers you are. And if you are a mixture of numbers, that's fine. Um, but write what numbers you are down so whenever I go through these, you'll be like, oh, well, that's the one I need right away. Um, so anyway, five questions. Here you go. I'm going to show them to you right now. Woo. Type 1 hair has straw or crunchy-like hair. Type 2 hair is generally dry and sucks in a lot of product. Type 3 hair is very damaged hair. Type 4 hair is very fluffy, puffy, or frizzy. Type 5 hair, you have absolutely perfect, flawless hair. Okay, now that you got your answers, I will tell you what my my hair type was. A lot of people, including myself, thought that my hair was number two and number three. Including my hairstylist, I thought that too. They constantly asked me if my hair was dyed or if I curled it all the time or blow dried it. And honestly, they even asked me if I permed my hair. So, um, you know, once in a while I would, you know, do certain things um, like, you know, on special occasions, maybe blow dry my hair and curl it, you know, things like that. But it was on a very rare occasion. So, I'm about to give up on my hair though because I did not want to cut all this off. It's taken me a long time to grow it out and I, I didn't want to do that. And I just felt like they had no answers for me. So we're just going to cut it all off. And I was like, no, hold back. I'm going to do some research. So that's what I did. Um, to, okay, so to me though, my hair felt actually, half of it felt dry while the ends felt really crunchy. It was horrible. I mean like, I mean literally you could hear like this little crackle sound. It was terrible. It was terrible. It was terrible. They kept saying it was damaged, it was damaged, but I had hardly any split ends on the end. So it was so weird. I was like, well, what could I damage my hair with? There's nothing to damage it with. What's, what's being damaged about it? They could never really tell me. So what they continually gave me was products with proteins in it to repair my damaged hair. Um, like coconut oil was always in it, hydro something silk, whatever you'll see in the, you know, on the ingredients and everything. Um, almond oil was a lot, you know, in those products, silk proteins, you know, etc. You can do some research on that part, but um, it's just proteins is what they would recommend to me. Um, even carotenes, they would pound things with silicones in my hair, which we all know silicones are not that great for your hair. Um, they can dry your hair out. Um, so anyway, they would just anything. I use products from low end to high end. Oh my goodness, you can name it. I used anything from uh, uh, 
all the way up to Orbe products, which very expensive products. Um, and I, mind you, I really like the smell of Orbe. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. But it just it wasn't cutting it for me. And for for that that price of a product, it better do a miracle on my hair, which it definitely did not. So this leads me to this. Okay. <laughs> sign of too much protein in your hair stop no protein stop um it is very crunchy to the touch it can even look dry but it's not necessarily dry so to revert to reverse this you'll need avocado oil which has a lot of vitamin E oil in it um, to heal your hair from all these proteins. So first you'll need to cut out any products that have proteins in it. Look on the back of your ingredients and get rid of them. Stop using them or put them away for a time period to see how your hair does. Um, but believe me, if your hair is crunchy at all and almost dry to the touch and it makes a crunch sound on the ends, it's protein. Get rid of it. Don't touch it. Um, look on the back. Do you know? Google even if you don't know what's inside your the ingredients, um, and make sure there's no proteins hidden inside. Things that are moisturizing to your hair, and unfortunately, um, proteins aren't necessarily moisturizing. So use first off use a avocado oil for a hot oil treatment. It works great. Um, it'll help. Um, repair that crunchiness and then then secondly use an apple cider vinegar rinse just simply take apple cider vinegar some people like to mix it with water and blah 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 but in this case when you're trying to hurry up and repair this damage this crunchiness just simply take it straight on and in the shower and just dump it all over your head right after you do the hot oil treatment you know if you, and you, after you've left it in for a while dump it all in and let it soak for a couple minutes and then rinse it out shampoo conditioner believe me it strips some of that protein out of your hair and it'll help correct it faster you can use any kind of oil uh, that does not have proteins in it so if you find another oil that has some vitamins and healthiness inside it you can use that um, I would not recommend olive oil because olive oil doesn't penetrate the hair like um, avocado oil will so I that is one oil I do not recommend um, carotenes and stay away from coconut oil obviously because it has a lot of protein in it and almond oil does too so try to stay away from those Let's move on to type 2 hair dry hair this is a sign of obviously like we all know lack of moisture um, this is a test and trial with this type of hair um, so if your hair is thick and um, actually just take a little tiny piece off right now just like one little strand and pull it out and then if your hair snaps really easily um, you will also have a type 3 hair with possibly with this dry hair okay but if it is strong and it kind of gives like an elasticity I can never pronounce that word oh my gosh anyway if it pulls you know easily and it just kind of gives and then it snaps after a while then you have a you have strong hair and it's just simply dry so you will need no proteins at all stay away from the proteins just use avocado oil or even um, any other oils that will be healing your hair but stay away from any protein oils at all or any protein products because your hair is getting dried out from all that protein type 3 hair is damaged hair um, this kind of hair is a mixture of pro it also needs a mixture of proteins but it also needs vitamins um, because it needs restoration and the repair it needs those vitamins to be able to heal but it also needs the proteins to keep your hair very strong um, so use straight almond oil or straight coconut oil you can mix those together with avocado oil or grapeseed oil because grapeseed oil also has a lot of vitamin E oil in it you can mix those all together and apply them to your hair um, do it in a hot oil treatment it will penetrate a lot faster and deeper
Okay, type four hair. Um, your hair seems frizzy or puffy or fluffy, some people say, and a lot of times it starts to get right about here where it's like this. And it just looks like air can wisp it, and it's weird. Anyway, if your hair ever looks like that, you need straight protein. Do not use any um, anything else until you can figure out and get that managed down. You need you need lots and lots and lots of protein. So first, use coconut oil or almond oil um, in your hair to strengthen it and tame it down and thicken it. Your hair is most likely not dry though, but protein it up, baby. Protein, protein. Now, after your hair gets a little bit manageable and if it still feels a little dry, then you can add some of the vitamin E oils um, into it and that might, you know, that will obviously help that part. First, definitely add a lot of protein into your diet and into your hair. You don't have to do hot oil treatments on any of these things, but you, you can use them cold if you like, but you will need them to sit in your hair longer, unlike the hot oil treatments. The hot oil treatment will penetrate the hair shaft a lot easier than a cold one. Five hair, if you have perfect hair, go away, shut up, get off this YouTube video. We don't want to see you or hear from you in the comments below. No, I'm kidding. We love you. And if you have perfect hair, you can also add any awesome comments or treatments that you have done to make your hair perfect and gorgeous. So please comment below too and help all of us other out that don't have such perfect hair. Um, extra tip here. Oh my goodness, my hair adores this and I don't know anybody's hair that doesn't adore it. Add a few drops into any of these treatments that I've um, talked about and add rosemary essential oil into them. I add, for my whole hair, I add about 10 to 15 drops, which some people are like, oh, that's so much rosemary. But my hair loves it. Um, if you have shorter hair, obviously not as many drops. Okay, so anyway, um, add that in. It will give it a lot of shine and it will be so silky and soft and um, oh, I just love it. Mm, can't get enough of rosemary. So anyway, okay. So every time I buy products now, I have to be aware of no proteins whatsoever. I cannot have proteins in it. Um, in an older YouTube video though, I have used a lot of coconut oils and hot oil treatments of coconut oil. And I show you how to use coconut oil in your hair. Um, which I used to do religiously and it worked so well. My hair was amazing. but. But then I started using um, too many products with co uh, with coconut oil or proteins in it, and I started eating more protein, like nuts and meat and things like that. So um, my hair started having too much protein in it, which is what made my hair so crunchy and dry. It was horrible. Which is why I found out all this information because I was desperate, so desperate, and I didn't want to have to cut it all off like my you know hairstylist recommended. Ugh. The, wait a minute, I had to take that back. One man said, do not cut your hair. And he told me to wait to figure out what what was good for my hair. And that was a hairstylist at Orbe's um, shop. And um, it's called Skylines. And, oh man, that man was amazing. His name is Nick. So if you uh, go there and you live in Kansas City, Missouri, go to him. He is amazing, amazing, adorable man. So anyway, have him cut your hair, you'll love him. Uh, he's great, he's great. Anyway, you now know what you can do with your hair and what your hair really needs, and go out and to, to be knowledgeable about the products that you're using and what actually your hair is all about. So you can make sweet weekly love to your hair because if you can't make love to your hair it won't love you back. And that's not a good thing. So thank you for sticking through this video with me on all that information but I'm glad that I've informed you now so your hair can be beautiful once again and um, talk to me below 
uh, subscribe, hit me up, like this video please, and if you have any comments or questions, please do it below, and I will try to get back with you as soon as I can, and I will be making a new video soon, I'm pretty excited about it. Sip time, ooh la la. Okay, so sip time today is about Christmas that's coming up, obviously. So soon, I love Christmas, it's my favorite holiday. And it's not necessarily because of the presents, it's because of the smells of Christmas, of cinnamon and eggnog and coldness and snow and I love it all, spices and anyway, all that goodness. And trees, oh my goodness, we have, I love Christmas. We cut our own Christmas tree down every year. It's this family tradition that we have. It's so much fun. Anyway, um, Christmas is so awesome, but the one thing that I love about Christmas is that I love helping someone for Christmas, and, um, anyway, I haven't chosen who I'm going to necessarily help for Christmas, but when people ask me to do things, I, so, you know, sometimes you have that little, oh, but I need to do this, oh, I need to do that, I don't have time for this, Ugh. But during Christmas time, I kind of like take a step back and I'm thinking, oh, it's Christmas. It's, it's supposed to be about cheer and helping one another and loving one another. And um, kind of my present to somebody else is helping them out or um, it's just showing them love. So anyway, this, that's my encouragement to you guys this year is to show someone else love and maybe some time that you don't even necessarily have and help them. Maybe help in a food kitchen and see how other people need so much more than you do. Or uh, leave a little box of cookies at your neighbor's doorstep or something. Um, just show a little kindness and uh, it, that's what Christmas is about, is warm, warming up your heart. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed Sip Time with Lauren today. Bye. Ho, 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 I get so jolly when I get subscribers.